Reaper seeing Fox Bowser, nice. This is a matchup I have not seen in forever, so I'm kind of excited. Volatile is the word I would use to describe this. Because both these characters, like Fox is infamous for, hey, he wins neutral forever, and then, like, this is not going to yet. But, um, yeah, Fox, like, will pull you for 80, 90, 100%. He'll get all of his combo starters, he'll pressure your shield, he'll get these grabs, everything will go his way. And then he'll die at 60 or something stupid. Yeah. Like, that's like the Fox, like, MO. <laughs> yeah, and if, we, and if we turn that around on the other side, Bowser's MO is killing you with something stupid at 60. So, <laughs> you know, it's it can be kind of rough sometimes for Fox. You know, it's it's definitely going to be silly, seem like one of those matchups where you'll see Bowser just get juggled forever, take a lot of damage. And then every, he might just win one neutral interaction in, you know. Maybe one or two, get a kill of 60, and you know, that's that's just the game. Fox is supposed to be a lot more careful with his shield pressure, because even though things like Nair and Back Air are both really safe and can bait out the almost the, the quintessential up the shield that Bowser has, it's not impervious. It's like, it's Fox's shield pressure isn't impervious, because he can always miss base, or he can always, like, Try and land the nair and try and land nair and do something afterward and get caught. But we're gonna have to see how both these players play around the matchup just fine. Can't grab a jump. That's a no no. <laughs> okay, could you use tough guys through it? Yeah, that, that's yeah. a question I had because a lot of the time, like you said earlier, a lot of fox when they'll nair, if you shield, they'll, they'll wrap the jab. Or if you do anything, because if it hits, it combos and it doesn't. Um, the rapid jab will beat out stuff like the steel grabber though. Um, yeah, it's like it, landing landing button into rapid jab or into quick jab slash rapid jab is usually like, pretty safe, but Bowser having a benefit just to avoid all that garbage. Oh that Bowser bomb was something. Oh my goodness, the F tilt from downtown is gonna take it. All the way across the PS2. That's actually really big, and that's something I didn't really think about. Fox's jab one and two, because there is no threat of a rapid jab afterwards, Cosmic just doesn't have to fear any mix up that comes out of landing jab one. Who cares? I mean, can Fox go into just like regular, like a gentleman? No, Fox is not gonna gentleman. Oh, it's always gonna be the rapid jab. Uh, yeah. It's, oh, oh yes. okay. yeah. That's really bad because now your your nair mix up. You kind of have to. You lose your option at B top or steel grab. You're gonna have to like roll or spot dodge to get out of that. Spot yeah. dodge might even get caught by like LP. So wow, that's uh, yeah. So Fox has to play super super careful. But when he gets his one hit, should he land that up tilt or should he land that dash back? It can be huge. It can lead to so much. Like this is an even game right now. But it's a very, very tentative people. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like right there, the the nair. Usually that nair will combo their jab, but he can't because it's a tough guy. Gotta be careful. He died for it. It's like my melee box. So he's going for these shines and I like it. I'm I'm also privy to whenever I play Fox, like I'm going for these shine spikes, even though I know they're bad. <laughs> But then, like, it's a way to go about it. But I wouldn't. I would like to see him try and prolong some of these combo routes that he's going for. Swinging for the fences is hot. Yeah, and I feel like in this game specifically, like going off stage for Fox isn't like the best strategy. And like that's kind of where Bowser struggles. Like Bowser also struggles getting off ledge. But really struggles with his victory recovery. Like if you miss that shine, like you're giving up a lot of pressure. Yeah, one miss is like Bowser's almost waiting for you. A lot of heavies, I guess, in this game. They're almost waiting for you to screw up. Which is why their neutral is just since many heavies, with the exception of BDD, are do have a either a really good burst range or are just much faster. Their neutral is a lot of dash dancing, there's a lot of movement, a lot of jump backs, and 
to like space it, basically. Because they're waiting for that one mistake. But they don't have anything that instigate that mistake besides the general threat of I'm big and scary and I'm gonna kill you in two interactions. But no change. No change to Samus. I would think Samus is not only a better Wi-Fi character, but Samus usually is considered a, a pretty good heavy check because Samus doesn't need to interact with heavies and all of their ratings. She just says go away. Yeah. Oh, what is this? That's the... What is... That, all right, that's a really odd way of starting out the bat. Just sit on the platform, do nothing, and then do a random up straight up in the air, but... Intimidation, I guess. He's, he's gotta flex, he's, he's gotta let him know. But I've got this Firefox, and I'm not afraid to send it straight up and give you a free punch. Oh, wow, that great up there, that beat out the down air. This up air is a little bit disjointed. Like, I've seen it beat out things like the link down air. Which is like, whoa, that's wild. But it's got a little bit of disjoint, and it's definitely super potent. Oh, that kind of damage. No, not yet. His cosmic sprint to the other side of the stage, and then back. <laughs> Gets the up smash. That's uh, Lee Siggins. Jumps from ledge onto the platform. No rapid jabs for you. Oh my goodness. That dude is that's such a big part of Fox's gameplay. There's there's ways to cope around it, but Fox does not have as many because of that jab being so quick and it's almost like a get out of jail free card, not having that ace in the hole is pretty big. Uh, love going for that down down B edge guard or a uh, ledge trapping, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I, would, I guess it's it's like a trap into a trump. I guess because if you stay on ledge, you're trumped, and you can get a trump bear. But if you jump, then you get caught by the actual the bomb. So it's something. That force match did not care Bowser. Not back here either. Did he kill? Fox lost a lot of knockback there, um, with the exception of Hulk Smash. So it, it's like can be it can be odd to get find kills from anywhere relating to like in the case of PS2. Like if you're underneath these platforms, Bowser's safe for a good long while. The only thing he has to avoid is his up smash, which he gets caught there after missing the standing grab, which grabs are Prime punish material. In a game where you can't punish a lot, you're looking for you're looking for those whips grabs. Oh, I didn't, I didn't punish the air dodge in. Doctor Legion, solid in terms of uh, getting back to center. But... Oh wow, that up smash barely missed. Me. What an angle! Okay, low key, that angle. Was yeah, that was tight. Unfortunately, frame six command grab will take it. <laughs> yeah, that's. You know, I mean, how does this condition you? Like, he has big, pretty big aerials. They're all really strong and scary. So you, you're just conditioned to hold shield, and then he'll just bust out the, uh, the command grab, and oh, you died. You know. It's almost like an, it's almost like an eternal.